Vikram Mansharamani is the latest to join the growing list of New Hampshire candidates to visit the U.S.-Mexico border. To stop illegal immigration, the Republican U.S. Senate candidate says Washington first needs to fix the legal immigration system. We need to exhibit two things, two philosophical beliefs that I would try to implement. Number one, we need to absolutely not accept people who have broken the law without some sort of penalty, and if that's remove them from the country or penalize them or figure out some way. And secondly, we probably want to exhibit some compassion. A lot of Republicans want a return to Trump administration immigration yeah. policies. Are there any of those policies that you would not want to bring back? For instance, family separation. Yeah, look, family separation is horrible. He was late getting into the Senate race, but he's quickly raised a lot of money, an advantage in a contest with no clear front runner. A businessman new to politics, Manshar Amani is still trying to build his conservative credentials. On abortion policy, he thinks the federal government should keep its distance. I do think this should be a state's issue. It should be closest to the people. And I do think New Hampshire's doing a good job. So in that case, that's a no on federal legislation to ban abortion. At this point, yes. I'd have to understand the specifics, but yes. So on the flip side then, uh, any kind of protection for abortion, you would also oppose because a state's Same issue. logic, okay. same logic. I believe it should be handled at the states. When it comes to checking Chinese aggression in the Pacific, Manshar Amani is wary of putting U.S. lives on the line to defend and Taiwanese independence. The Chinese probably have overwhelming military capability. Uh, you know, they're going to be able to fire a $20 million hypersonic weapon or other type of, you know, missile and take out a four or five billion dollar plus aircraft carrier. That's not a trade we want to be pursuing. Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.